Hello, thank you for Mr. Who Reviews. And today we're going to go seven episode eleven. Um, for the uh, moment correction to last week's episode, it turns out that Roa and Roman are actually cousins. I don't know why I thought they were uh, siblings, but I don't think you'll ever had like uh, cousin characters in it before, so that's probably why. Mm -hmm. Anyway, in this uh, the second round of uh, uh, Roa's uh, the dual chance thing is going on, and it's Roman versus Gato. Yeah, and Yuga, Gato, and Rook are just shocked that uh, Roa is a part of this. And I think he's going to act when he's looking nonchalant. And that, and I think it like Yuga is the same thing that it doesn't really matter if a man for them, they, you, we know you're a friend or some or the duel, so we really are. Typical dig ego stuff. But I guess the deck got so and Rook are just feeling betrayed. But. Yeah. And I also think they probably see this as an easy win since he lost kind of easily to Yuga in episode 3, 4. I forgot what. I didn't think it was right. And got to the, the fam club comes. To the old cheer form. And things in his favor when he uh, does he attacks a uh, uh, Roman with about three monsters. And see if it happens so weird uh, or seeing some weird stuff like but for a good memory with that uh, Yuga and the others and for some reason seeing uh, Gato as a bowl of ramen noodles. And I think Susie. Mm. And it turns out that when a uh, Roman gets uh, hungry, he goes a bit crazy. He's actually like a hard rocker gun. A bit that I think her eye color changed. Oh no. This is weird. I guess he summons uh, the card that uh, that's got from the uh, the leaked tires or something from that concert that that's had a flashback about. And that's all three, and that's some of the new monster as well as defeats uh, Gokuto. Yeah. And just uh, yes, he comes out again some food at her. Uh, I don't know. It's funny and a bit weird, but I see some weirder stuff in you go. Mm. And the, the scoreboard seems to be tied between Team Roa and Team Yuga. So that's just the next match. Um, yeah, this episode is cool, and I just wonder what the secret that Roa has on Roman. I wonder if it's the fact that he kind of acts different when he's hungry. And I find it kind of funny that I think the, the a Noodle Kid starts up with this one with the, some sushi. Yeah. It isn't really the first time somebody uh, brought some food during a duel. I think it happened in the last episode of Ego. Uh, GX in in, uh, the se in season one when uh, Jaden had had some uh, had some food during a duel or was positive for a while. But, mm. And uh, Mimi seems to be surprised about uh, Roman betrayal as well, and I think she recognizes her son. The or the the. the uh, the ramen kid, or whatever. I mean, it's not, I don't know. 
Uh, you can like that. Uh, you guys go up to uh, Roman to say tell him what happened since he doesn't uh, remember some of it. But then, um, and I also wonder if if uh, Roy knew that Ro Roman would go uh, like he did if he was hungry. <laughs> and I just wonder if they just made it up for this episode or had a plan because I would would have thought that Rome would have been there uh, hungry when she was batting in the uh, yoga in episode three, but yes, not. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, her deck isn't really that interesting. Maybe she's still using the cards that uh, Yuga belonged to her, but I don't know. And um, I wonder what deck uh, Roman Aroa uh, has. Maybe be some different. Like usually, just rival characters have uh, like a, a a dragon deck or does a dragon ace monster. But yeah, how can I say? Um, yeah, I think the episode's got Golden Rose. So again, a Roman got uh, all gone how I was just hungry, but it's okay. Anyway, uh, until next time, I'm still here.